guys happy Saturday so it is top of the morning I decided to pop in crazy hair and all because we are going to be doing hair oiling today so I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon and I wanted to show you guys before I put it all together so um, I got two of these things so these are like the applicators that you put the oil in and then I got a hundred percent castor oil and then I got a hundred percent rosemary oil so these apparently are really good for like hair growth. So um, I just, I mean my hair is plenty long. Basically what's going on is just because I bleach it, I just feel like there's always room for improvement. So we're also going to lean into this self care day a bit. So this is Fengu um, 24 karat eye mask. Eye mask thing, this is also from Amazon. So these are just little under eye things that I'm gonna put on. I just feel like the majority of it need to go, you know, here. Like why would the majority be up like by the crow's feet? That just doesn't even make sense. Marvelous. So now we are ready for our hair pampering. So I've watched some other videos and they have different amounts that they do. But I will say something that they have in common is they all create like an entire like cup worth of oil and it's like, I just I don't feel like I need that much see already I feel like okay no, maybe more I was gonna say I feel like that's enough to cover my hair but maybe not so that is just over one ounce I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the measurement things oh yeah you can okay so it's just over an ounce and I feel like that's gonna be enough because like I don't want my hair like super slimy Oh, okay, so the bottle and dropper come separate. I do like that because then you can like screw back on the top. The dropper is like barely, okay. Okay, so the dropper only sucks up very little, so maybe we'll do like, I feel like that's sufficient. Yeah, we are just shy of one and a half ounces. Oh, wow. I absolutely hate the feeling of this. <laughs> I just, it, cause it feels like I haven't washed my hair in like weeks, but I mean, you're literally putting oil into your hair. So like, you know, to be expected. I'm gonna try to leave it in for like one to two hours, but I can tell you I'm already looking forward to washing it. It's like sticking to where it is. Like I, in my head, I was thinking it would kind of like, you know, I could like move it around and like cover everything. Like you have to actually apply it to each part of your like scalp basically because it's like not moving it's like really for lack of a better word like adhering to the hair that you put it on okay so it's do you hear it yeah it's just about empty okay so one and a half ounces is enough to do the entire scalp um, but if you're wanting to go like down the hair you need more so we are oily as they come. So I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit of castor oil here, big glob. So it's all in my hair. So now I'm just going to clip it up, set a timer, wash it out. And then I will be back to give you guys my review. Okay guys, it is a full hour later. My alarm just went off, so it is time to wash it out. So the good news is I got to chatting, totally forgot about the fact that I have a bunch of oil in my hair. And so time flew. So I've decided that because this oil is like so thick, um, I'm gonna wash it in like a sink. And then that way I can clean the sink with like, you know, dish soap and stuff to break up the oil. Cause I'm really nervous about washing this in the shower because I feel like it's going to like coat the shower and then it's going to be a major like slipping hazard. And I don't feel like scrubbing down an entire shower. It just seems like it's gonna be easier in a sink. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you guys try this out, I also highly recommend sink for washing it out and then I'll shower afterwards. We've got shampoo and we've got my little scalp thing. I'm gonna do one more round and then I'm gonna shower and I'll see you guys after my shower. 
morning guys happy sunday so it's the next day i did not vlog yesterday because after i showered and like washed out all of the oil um i decided to get in pjs and sit in bed and we just had a show and movie marathon and then i ended up shopping around for some um, lightroom presets and i bought a few packages um one of them it gave me access to like over 200 presets um because just for like future it'd be nice to have like a good starting point and then i can adjust from there um so i'm just kind of looking for ways to um like streamline the process for me because i know i've mentioned in one of the previous videos it takes me a really long time in lightroom to get photos just right so um yeah i bought a ton of presets so when you save onto the computer it's not too bad but onto the phone it's like this whole like six step process for every single individual preset and i bought a couple hundred because i bought the packages so it took literally hours to get all the presets onto the mobile lightroom why they don't transfer from desktop lightroom to mobile i don't know or maybe there's a way and i just didn't know so i took the really long route so don't know but um yeah i had the ultimate lazy day in bed yesterday i even like ate dinner in bed like full commitment i was like no people today no one uh, social battery was completely dead and i'm so glad that i just listened to myself and hung out in bed i'm leaving in like 20 minutes to go on a walk with my friend kersey and if you guys may remember i don't think i've ever officially had her like i've done some clips with her um, but I don't think I've ever actually introduced you guys to her, but she is my oldest friend. We've known each other since preschool. She is literally the only friend I've had that long. And um, yeah, I just, I love her. So we're going to be going to coffee, catching up, and we're gonna go on a walk. I don't know how long the walk will be though, because she is, I believe, eight months or seven and a half months pregnant. So she's still like, yeah, I wanna go on walks and all the things. And I'm like, girl, I. I don't know how long you're gonna be able to keep this up, but until she decides that's too much for her, I guess we'll keep going. Hey guys, so quick review on the hair mask. I just washed my hair in the sink and I got in there the best I could and I thought I got it all out and then I hopped in the shower and I didn't wash my hair in the shower because you know, like 30 cents ago, I just did a double wash. So left it alone, hit it with a little conditioner, but that was it and then um, I was noticing my hair was taking a really long time to dry. Like it was three hours and my hair was still wet. Like for reference, I shower, I got out of the shower like 35 minutes ago and my hair is like halfway dry. The reason it took so long was because I still had so much of the oil in there. Because I think when you wash your hair like, like head down, you know what I mean? You can't get in there as much. It was like right here that still had most of the oil, which again, when you're washing your hair like head down, it's not as easy to get. So um, this morning I washed my hair again <laughs> because I was like, I'm not, you know, hanging out with oil in my hair for the next few days. This time around, my hair is drying properly, um, like just as fast, it doesn't feel oily, it feels really clean. So I think I got the remaining out, but already like my hair is just, it's softer, it feels like, more moisturized and overall i think it did what it's supposed to do so i think it is a very effective hair mask i think i like it and i would do it again okay we are meeting at jamba juice so here we are returning to my roots let's go Good job, hunties. So the pups are having just the best time ever, but every time they come back, they're going ham on this water. So usually we don't bring water because we're not out here quite long enough for it to be worth it. But this time I brought my little 21 ounce Yeti with ice in it. They completely drank that. I also brought a backup water bottle. It's now empty. Like this, this is it. They have chugged through all of the water. Are they done? Oh my gosh, so we just got back from the park. We did ball throws for the dogs. They literally drank 37 ounces of water in like 20 minutes. So um, usually like we don't always bring water because we're, you know, we're, they can only really last like 20, maybe 30 minutes. And so like we'll go right back home, they can drink water. Um, after seeing how much they drank, 
and like how hot it is now, I'm feeling like we need to bring water every single time. Like now I'm feeling terrible. Every time we go on walks, I bring water, but I'm always just like the park, you know, we're there so for such a short period of time. So um, yeah, we are definitely going to be bringing water. Um, at this point, it's like 90 degrees and it's only getting hotter. Today is going to be 101. Oh my gosh, it's just, yeah, it keeps getting hotter and hotter this coming week. We're supposed to have several days that were in the high 80s and now everything's like mid 90s. So, I mean, it could be a good day to get a little bit, a little bit of color, you know what I mean? So, might be getting in the pool, but other than that, I'm like, we really wanted to like go out. We were going to go wine tasting at the winery that we joined the wine club for, but it's so freaking hot. We we're going to sit outside, do a wine tasting, play some games. It was going to be a great time, but now like in 101 degree heat, like that sounds rough. That just sounds really, really rough. It's kind of frustrating because we have this free time on the weekend and you want to go do things and it's just so freaking hot that you don't actually want to go outside. Like I tell myself all week, I'm like, as soon as it's the weekend, like I'm getting out of the house, I'm gonna be outside, we're gonna do all these things. And then the weekend comes around and it's like boiling hot. It's like, should we stay inside in the AC? Cause like, that's what sounds like what I want to do. But then the week comes around and I'm like, oh, I should have gone out. I should have done something. I should have like made memories. I should have had fun outside. So it's just forever this like push and pull. You know what I mean? Quick trip to the store to pick up a few items. Okay, so I got bread for toast and I got bread for the chicken salad sandwiches that I'm making. So now I need some dill because my dill did expire. Perfect, here it is. Oh my gosh, this dill looks so good. Also, huge life hack. If you come down the juice aisle and you get these big things of lemon juice, they are so much cheaper than just the tiny things of lemon juice that are shaped like lemons, like in produce. Like, look at this. And I think they're $2.50 for the little ones that are shaped like a lemon. So yeah, this is the cheaper route. All done. You guys, I just paid $7 for a loaf of bread. I am blown away. Things are so over freaking priced these days. Just like, how? And you know how much the dill was? The dill was um, $3.75. Are you for reals? Dude, I, psh, mark my words. Our next house, I will have a garden. Produce is way overpriced. I'm back from the store and now I'm going to make chicken salad. Um, I make, I think it's called like a Napa chicken salad. So I have all the ingredients right here. So we have like dill, parsley, green onions, grapes, celery, um, lemon juice, mayo, and I like to use canned chicken. So I'm just using the Costco canned chicken and Dijon mustard. But I don't like, I don't like using like fresh chicken. I've tried that and it just, it doesn't work as well. For some reason, something about the like canned chicken breast turns out so good. So that's what I always use. If you guys have been following me for a few years, then you may remember that every time we'd go boating, I would always make chicken salad and egg salad. And I would prepare like large amounts and put them like in Tupperware. And then I bring a bunch of like ciabatta breads and different types of sliced breads and bags of chips and everything. And that's what we would do for lunch. And it's been so freaking long since I've had them. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna make it, basically, moral story. So I'm gonna make it, very excited. I'll link the recipe below that I use because I always use the same one. It is like my favorite chicken salad recipe. Like I'm not even really a fan of chicken salad, but this one is just so freaking good that I love it. So it does call for about four cups of chicken breast. Um, so I'm just using three cans. So technically like two of them is three cups and then I'm just, I'm not gonna use half a can. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. And then um, usually I do end up throwing in a little bit extra dill and a little bit extra lemon to kind of like make sure that everything ratio stays correct. <laughs> So all of the ingredients are in here, uh, minus the sauce. So now I need to create the sauce. In the meantime, we can work on mixing all this up and kind of breaking up some of those chunks of the chicken. Okay, I 
just finished making the chicken salad. This smells so good. The dill is so fragrant and I feel like it came out perfect. So I'm gonna toast up some bread and make some sandwiches. It's a bit later and we're going swimming. We are manifesting um, Italy today with the lemon bikini. Got the speaker, got my phone, we've got the clip. Oh, I've gotta go get sunscreen. But um, it is 100 degrees right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a tan and spend a lot of time in the pool, but uh, let's make the most of the summer day. Come on, aunties. Oh, shaking it off. Oh, you're so cute. Do you want to get back in the water? Do you want to get back in? Hi, did you bring back the toy? Okay. Good job. Okay, you ready? Good job. Such a good job, hunties. Wow. Good job. Good job, hunties. about that post pool shower. I like just shower, dry off, put on like clean, comfy like PJs and I feel like a whole new person. Like my life is, it's my life but reimagined in an even better way. Like the water hits differently. I don't know what it is, but like after a day in the sun, it just oh, always does. And then I put a little bit of lemon in my water. Oh, I'm, I'm a wellness queen. I am hydrated, it's amazing. And then we were like, what should we make for dinner? Maybe we should grill, you know, really lean into the summer, you know, vibe today. So we were going to grill up some shrimp. But then my sister called and she was like, I'm thinking Papa Murphy's for dinner. What do you guys think? And I was like, girl, if you get some pepperoni, I'm in. So she called my grandpa, had my grandpa come over. Um, they came over. So now it's just like a full family dinner. So now there's like, what, eight, nine, nine of us. And yeah, the whole crew's here now. So everyone's in the TV room right now because the babies were crying and they have like favorite um, little like baby music videos that they really enjoy. So they're like chatting and dancing in there because it always cheers them up. So that's going on. I'm in charge of cooking pizzas. It is dinner o'clock and we're doing pizza for dinner. So we have Papa Murphy's and four different ones, all thin crust. So I'm about to pop them in the oven. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. guys happy Monday so Sunday night dinner was so much fun my niece Layla is so freaking cute she's really like getting into like dancing and everything and uh, my dad had put on some like I don't know it was like something from like the 80s that he used to listen to it was like some pretty like hardcore stuff and Layla was having the best time just like dancing to it and everything and her little moves are so cute and then my dad turned it off and Layla went over grabbed his phone and turned it back on and then went back to dancing. Like, she is so freaking smart. I mean, kids these days in technology, like, she's not an iPad kid. Like, she doesn't get to watch videos and stuff on, like, my sister's phone, but they will let her play with the phone, like, as they, like, change her or something if she's getting fussy. But she doesn't have really access to the phone for more than, like, two or three minutes at a time. So the fact that she's, like, so quick with picking up on how to do all of that is just, like, mind-blowing to me. Um, and then Mia is like now pulling herself up and standing. And if you hold her like under her arms or like hold her hands, she'll like take little steps. Like she's so ready to walk and she's only eight months old, right? Nine months. She was born beginning of October. Does that, 
So however old that makes her. But anywho, it is tip top of the morning. Um, I have decided that I'm going to eat, so I just like toasted up some bread. I just did like one piece. And I'm going to make a little chicken salad sandwich because I have a dental appointment at 8 a.m. So yes, I am literally making a chicken sandwich at like 7.30. And you know what? It just is what it is. We've had this discussion before. Um, I'm very lawless when it comes to foods. I will eat dinner food at 6 a.m. I will eat breakfast food at 7 p.m. Like I really just simply don't care. So I'm making food right now because after my dental cleaning, obviously I will not be able to eat every time after the dentist when they're like, you can't eat for like 20 or 30 minutes. Like that doesn't seem like that long of a situation. But for some reason, just knowing that I can't, all of a sudden I'm like starving. And then also then going through my work day in that mindset is just gonna be really challenging. So I'm just making myself a chicken salad sandwich. And then I'm also going to have some Lay's kettle baked salt and vinegar chips. Again, yes, at 7.30 in the morning. I don't care. <laughs> I'm eating um, salt and vinegar chips at the crack of dawn because that's just, it is who I am. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, probably not. But I know my cortisol levels are just too high right now because the edge of my right eye just keeps twitching. And according to some TikTok videos I've seen, apparently that is a sign that your cortisol is too high. They say you don't drink, you shouldn't drink coffee first thing in the morning, and like I don't. I wait like 15 minutes after I wake up to make the coffee and then I go shower and then I drink the coffee after I shower once it's cooled. So I'm up for like 30 minutes before I even drink coffee. So I don't know what the deal is, but I am so over this eye twitching. It's so uncomfortable. Like it doesn't like hurt. I just, it's really irritating. So I just finished lunch and I think doing the sandwich on sliced bread was a way better idea. Yesterday I did them on the like mini ciabatta squares that I had bought from the grocery store. And that's what I ate it on yesterday. And the ratio was just a little off. Like it was too much bread. So today I tried the sliced bread and it was perfect. The sandwich tasted correct. Like the ratios were proper. So I think for moving forward um, for the rest of the chicken salad, I'm gonna do it on sliced bread. But the time has come for me to head out to my dental appointment, get these pearly whites cleaned. And um, I'm a little nervous just because I always feel like they're going to tell me that like either I have a bunch of cavities or that my teeth are falling out. Um, honestly, I think it's trauma from my like childhood dentist that I went through all through college. Every time I would go in, he would, it was like scare tactics. He would always make me feel like all of my teeth were gonna fall out. Even if I had no cavities, like my teeth were healthy. He would just always be like, you're at risk for this and this and this and gingivitis, you're probably gonna lose your teeth by the um, age of this. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then um, I've gone to like two different dentists since then after like, you know, having my own insurance, like need to go places that are insured or covered by my insurance. And everyone else is like, no, you have really healthy gums, you have healthy teeth, like you're good to go. So I don't know what the heck was up with my like OG dentist. My parents still go there and I just, I don't understand why. Me and my sister dropped him because of like dental trauma, honestly, from like emotional trauma about like dentistry. So I blame him for my fear of dentists, but I'm working on getting over it. So very proud of myself and I do not have cavities. I know it because I'm getting my teeth cleaned every four months and I would know beforehand, you know? So like, we're good, we're good, we're good. I need to stay calm, cool, and collected. And I also need to take off so I'm not late. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give you a big thumbs up and don't forget to tune in in another few days for another new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.